Hey, welcome back to the Walter Lover channel, everyone, where we talk about general gun and shooting topics. We do gun reviews, gear reviews, talk about competitive shooting, and my love of Walter firearms, amongst many other firearms. Thank you for stopping by. Tonight, we have another gun review for you. Talking about something kind of unique, kind of different, uh, and fairly interesting. Tonight, we're talking about the Bull Armory Axe Tomahawk full size. How about that? So, let's make sure she's safe. Mag out. Gun is clear. No ammunition around. We are safe. So, Bull Armory X Tomahawk full size. Pretty interesting gun. So, for those that have been around the gun world for a while, you know Bull Armory. They make a lot of very, very cool, interesting, unique firearms. They're big in the competitive world. Uh, make a lot of 1911s, a lot of open guns. Very neat. This one is a polymer frame striker fired gun in 9mm. Uh, full size. Pretty cool gun. So, uh, all of my experiences with uh, Bull Armory guns have been pretty darn positive so far, and I would expect nothing less at this point. So, let's take an up close and personal look at this thing real quick. Come back, talk about how it shoots some of my impressions, and we'll go from there. So, stand by. Okay, the Bull Armory Axe Tomahawk full size. Here we go. As always, that chamber is empty. No mag in the gun. Mag is empty. As you can see, there is no ammunition around. We are safe. So here we go with the Bull Armory Axe Tomahawk full size. A very uh, different looking gun. So let's take a look from the bottom up here at what we've got. So you've got a bit of a a flared magwell that's integrated into the frame, which is kind of interesting. Really aggressive texture on this grip. I'll give you the best views I can give you. Very, very aggressive, aggressive texture. I like aggressive texture. Very cool. It's very comfortable in the hand, and it's not going to move. So that's pretty cool. A little more texture here. We've got a standard Glockish mag release that is reversible for our left-handed brothers and sisters. Trigger guard, very generous trigger guard. Double undercut, lots of room on the on the underside of that trigger guard. Uh, very, very comfortable. Beaver tail allows you to get a nice big high grip. Pretty cool there. We've also got texture here as well. You can see that on both sides. So ambidextrous thumb rest texturing, I guess you could say. We, of course, have a full rail underneath for lights, lasers, accessories, etc. Uh, standard takedown that we're all used to seeing. Moving up to the slide. Uh, very interesting and kind of cool looking slide. We, we've got a... Weight reduction cut, which is kind of cool. Very aggressive serrations on this gun, both rear as well as the front. Very easy to get a hold of. Hard to slip off of. Super aggressive serrations on the slide. Like that a lot. Standard three-dot sights, although they are a little larger than I'm used to seeing on most of the uh, current handguns, which is pretty neat. But more importantly... Optic ready. Uh, this is cut for an RMR footprint. Uh, the slide itself. So no plates. Take the, take the cover off. RMR footprint. Boom. Ready to rock and roll. Other side. We've got some markings on the barrel. Get to the barrel in a second. Um, just give you a look at the gun. Very cool. It's a cool little cutout in the front to show you a little bit of this. Uh, Super shiny fluted barrel, which is uh, pretty darn nice. Pretty darn nice. I kind of like that look. As I'll talk about in this video, this the look of this gun's probably not for everybody. Uh, at first, I wasn't quite sure. Kind of grew on me. Uh, I've grown to kind of like 
it's pretty darn unique. So most important part, right? We are clear the trigger. As you can see, we have a flat face trigger with a safety. Uh, safety does not get in the way. Can't even tell it's there. But let's take a look at our trigger. There's your take up there. Take up. Very crisp. Reset. There. Very crisp. No creep. Very positive spring acted reset. Hard to miss. Very nice. Very, very super shootable. There you go. Great trigger. So there you have it. Up close look. Full armory, axe, tomahawk, full size. Very neat. Show you what's in the box. Okay, so the box. We get a cardboard box. Okay, no big deal. Open that thing up and you get a nice case, which we will take a closer look at. In the box, get a bunch of plastic. Oh my God, where's the gun? Ha ha. Just kidding. Uh, cleaning tools. If you watched any of my reviews, I'm a big fan of a company that provides these things for you. I think it is a nice touch. You get those. Instruction manual, which covers the Axe Compact full size in both the Cleaver, Hatchet, and Tomahawk models. The Cleaver I've seen, have not seen the Hatchet anyway. Same manual for all of their polymer frame guns. And of course, chamber flag. So taking a look at this super cool bag, Uh, it's a nice bag, man, I, and I like that because some of these expensive guns don't come with necessarily as nice a bag. Gives you adjustable straps, so you can kind of adjust it to fit the gun however you prefer. Um, Velcro straps, it's kind of a nice deal if I can get them off of there. Anyway, you get the point. They're adjustable. You set it up however you want. Uh, put the gun in there or something like that. Strap it down. Kind of neat. Mags. You get three 17 round magazines. That's right. You get three. Why can't everybody give us three? Makes me mad. Uh, some of you are going to notice that that magazine probably looks familiar. Now, of course, it has the Bull Armory uh, base plate, but I think all of us would agree that certainly looks like a Glock mag. That's the cool thing about this gun is it will accept... Glock magazines. So if you have a Glock 17, it'll take the mags. But they are kind enough to give you three, which everybody should do. Three 17 round mags. So that's it. Uh, in addition to that, in the box were a couple of stickers. I love stickers. So you do get those as well. So there you have it. That's everything that came in the box. Can't show you the stickers because I've already stuck them on something. But there is the bull armory axe tomahawk full size sweet moving on so now that we've seen this thing up close and personal let's talk briefly about it while we talk about how it shoots so a lot of you are going to say this is just another glock clone now nah, i'm not going down that rabbit hole again because some people get mad when you say things aren't clones sometimes people get mad when you say things are clones i'm not going getting into all that the Bull Armory Axe Tomahawk is a very cool polymer frame striker fire gun. Uh, yes, it is compatible with some Glock parts for sure. The Glock 17 mag fits in it, uh, and apparently it'll fit in a 17 holster, though I have not tried that. So how does it shoot? Well, it shoots, it shoots great. It shoots great, everyone, I'm telling you. And we'll look at some of the video from the range and show you a little bit about how this thing performed, but... It's very comfortable. The texture on the grip, very aggressive. I like that. I know it's not for everybody. This gun has a very unique look. I know that's not for everybody. For me, I've really got into this gun. The comfort uh, shoots very flat. But man, it's really easy to control recoil. I'm a fan. I think this gun 
is pretty uh, pretty spectacular. And now this uh, range outing that you're looking at in the video here is the first time I ever shot it. And uh, man, once I got comfortable with it, trigger's phenomenal. Trigger is phenomenal. Uh, it's about a three pound, two ounce pull, roughly. Very excellent reset. Gun's accurate. Uh, as we would expect most guns today to be, as I would expect anything for Bull Armory at this point to be accurate. I mean, the gun is far, uh, it's going to outperform me hands down, right? So I did my super scientific 10-round uh, testing. I'm always looking at that in the video, but here is the target from that experiment. And uh, this is 10 rounds at 7 yards, 21 feet, uh, the way I usually do it. And um, uh, it was very cool, very easy to shoot. So some of the specs, I didn't go over when we sat down with this gun closely, but it's uh, very light. It's 23.6 ounces unloaded. Uh, feels very good. Very light gun, but well balanced. Uh, four and a half inch barrel. Uh, gun overall, 7.8 inches long, 5.1 inches high. Uh, I mentioned that amazing trigger pull. So if you're into something roughly Glock 17 size, if you like a full size gun, uh, you like a little more texture. The flared magwell that's in it. I mean, this this gun is, is spectacular. I I'm a huge fan. It's really really fun to shoot and really comfortable. Uh, the optic plate. I mentioned that when we sat down and looked at it. Uh, this optic plate is just a cover plate. This slide is milled for an RMR footprint red dot, which this gun will get very soon because with the red dot, this gun's gonna be absolutely amazing. So price-wise, well, it's a little expensive depending on what you call expensive. I think this gun's worth the money, but that being said, you're looking right around a thousand bucks for this gun. I've seen it slightly cheaper, uh, can be a little deceiving because there are a couple different models of the X, right? You've got something they call the cleaver, and then, of course, you have this Tomahawk, and the manual says something about a hatchet, though I haven't seen that one. I uh, have picked up and handled the cleaver. Obviously, I've handled the Tomahawk. Uh, the cleaver is not optic ready, uh, and I don't believe it's got the uh, lightning cuts in it. But, I, uh, man, I am a fan of this gun. I think anybody that's working in that price range... You want something that is Glock 17 size-ish, <laughs> and this right around the, the, the same kind of size. And again, not getting into the whole clone uh, conversation or not a clone, whatever. I don't, I don't want to anger anybody else <laughs> anymore. Uh, but the fact that it is compatible with 17 mags, uh, is compatible supposedly with 17 holsters, though I haven't tried. I will do that, get you an update. Uh, but a couple hundred rounds through this gun. Uh, the video you've watched today was the first and only time I've shot this gun and uh, performed flawlessly out of the box. Nothing done to it. Fantastic trigger. So who's the gun for? I mentioned if you're into that full-size gun, home protection, carry, the, the typical uh, Glock 17 type gun. Uh, this thing's right up that alley. and I'm a, I'm a fan. I like this gun. I like this gun a lot. It's fun. Uh, so I think anyone that's really into uh, polymer striker fire guns is going to enjoy shooting this gun. And I will tell you, uh, it's really hard in a video to to convey the quality that you feel in the gun. Everything about it feels right and feels like it's made of quality materials. This slide is very solid. You've seen the fluted um, barrel that's in it. I, the gun feels fantastic and feels like it's extremely well made. So I don't think you can go wrong with this gun from my limited, though growing experience with Bull Armory guns and Bull Armory optics. I am quickly becoming a fan of their products, and I think most would agree. The handful of people that got to shoot this gun with me today also felt the same way, that it was pretty fantastic. So that's it. That's what I have for you. Um, quick review. If you have any questions or comments, please hit me up below. Uh, if you like this review, that's spectacular, and I appreciate the ongoing support. Please hit the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We're going to keep content coming. We're growing. Love it. Thank you so much for the support. If you didn't like this video, I'd love to know why. Uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me know, um, and maybe we can talk about it. Maybe we can get better. But with that, I appreciate the support, everyone. Come back and see us again. We'll have some interesting, fascinating, 
and hopefully fantastic content for you. So thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you soon. See you.